Welcome to Digital Damage Control. Learn more about how to use social media, internet and tech in a healthy way. I don't want to waste your time, that's why I'll make it quick. Those are the nine top browser extensions I think you definitely need. Let's go. The mentioned extensions are compatible with Chrome-based and Firefox-based browsers. Chrome-based browsers include Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Opera, Brave and many more. Firefox-based browsers include Firefox, Tor, Waterfox and Palemoon. What are browser extensions? Third-party developers write small software modules that extend the functionality of a browser. Similar to apps you have installed on your phone, extensions in your browser are also given various different permissions to ensure that they are working. At least that's the idea behind permissions. As extensions have access to critical user data, the reputation of the developers and companies behind them is of utmost importance. Keeping this in mind will help you keep security and privacy concerns by a minimum. Of course I made sure that the extensions I recommend to you have good reputation and that they respect your privacy. But you can also look for yourself. I listed the websites of the developers down in the description below. Privacy Badger automatically analyzes and blocks invisible website trackers. It differs from traditional ad blocking extensions as it is purely meant to be a tracker blocker. Once you have installed it, it does everything for you. There is no need for you to configure anything. Install it and forget it. uBlock Origin is a general purpose blocker. Although people use it primarily to block ads, its intended purpose is to protect internet users from privacy invasion while surfing. It is possible to manually adjust settings, but not necessary for everyday usage. Using an extension that also blocks ads isn't illegal in Germany. Please inform yourself on the legal status regarding ad blockers in your own country. With a Wayback Machine you can save the current status of a website, including text and pictures. This can be very useful, especially when you want to refer to a source and make sure that what you talk about was exactly what stood on the website. Sometimes pages also get taken down, but by saving them directly after you visited them, you have proof of the content that was presented. Zotero Connector also saves the current status of a visited website by taking a snapshot. Unlike the Wayback Machine, you can't see the archived websites of other users. The saved websites aren't shared in the public, but are stored on your own device. Zotero Connector requires you to install the citation program Zotero. It can be downloaded for free. Return YouTube Dislike. The name already tells you what it does. As YouTube disabled the possibility for people to see dislike counts on videos, this extension brings them back. It does this by relying on official dislike count data from before the shutdown and estimating new dislike counts by recording dislike count data from its extension users. VidIQ Vision for YouTube is an analyzation tool for YouTube metrics. It shows you how to strategically grow your YouTube channel and helps you understand what makes other channels successful. This extension is useful for creators as well as consumers. DF YouTube helps you stay focused on the video you searched for and eliminates potential distractions. You can for example hide the trending page, related videos and deactivate autoplay. Goodbye YouTube algorithm. Flagfox shows you in which country the server of the website is that you are visiting. A server provides storage space for developers who can then make the creation accessible for everyone on the internet. With the knowledge about the hosting country, you can get an idea which laws may apply to the information presented. Is it for example a country with little freedom and a lot of censorship, then you will know that this probably also affects the content. Cultivate shows you the country from which your Amazon products are sold from. It displays a flag and the name of the country underneath the title of the product you clicked. This can help when you want to find products that are made in your own country or when you want to boycott products made in a specific region. Sometimes the flag won't show up when the product is directly sold by Amazon. Still there are many products where this extension will be useful. Currently it only works with the Amazon website of the US, Canada, the UK, Germany, France, Spain and the Netherlands. Further domains of the other countries will be supported in the future.